the fundamental difference between U.S. power in places like Puerto Rico or the Philippines and U.S. power in Cuba is that while uh, the United States had formal colonial authority in Puerto Rico or the Philippines, um, its power over Cuba was much more in line with the kind of neo-colonial influence that the United States had over the rest of the region, Central America, the Caribbean, um, in the early 20th century. A key difference with Cuba is, is that the, the United States was able to use the Platt Amendment um, to exert a more direct influence on everyday Cuban affairs and, 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 um, and certainly the Cuban economy. Um, but the, the differences are important. And, and you see those differences in, in a couple of key moments. For example, during the, the U.S. occupation, um, you know, the Cuban officials were able to, um, are able to push for and win universal manhood suffrage regardless of race or class, while the United States was really pushing for um, essentially a white electorate. Um, and, and most importantly, in the wake of a nationalist uh, populist revolt in the summer of 1933, um, during a, a short-lived uh, nationalist government in that fall, uh, Cuba was able to unilaterally abrogate or unilaterally cut off or end the Platt Amendment um, in, in Cuba. U.S. authority over the island was always a little more informal and a little more provisional than the kinds of absolute, essentially, uh, colonial authority that the United States had over places like Puerto Rico or Guam or the Philippines.